Brian needs a little help dumping his cable box. He writes in, I pay 15 bucks a month to rent a digital HDR DVR box from Comcast. If I could buy my own AC DVR cable box, could I hack the box to also access a NAS and or an external hard drive for viewing my own legal digital movie collection? Best regards, Brian in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Hmm. Can, it, can your TiVo access stuff off of a NAS or a yes. server? Or oh, yeah. Okay. That's no problem. Uh, but I would say just build your own when it becomes feasible. Get your home theater PC on. That's what I'm thinking. Like the Seton uh, Infina 4 tuner, quad tuner cable card product, if it ever ships. They're claiming it's mid... Uh, Mid 2010, which it is right now. Uh, I'm I should waiting on that. Let but. me translate. The Seton board that Mr. Heron is so excited about will basically accept four cable card tuners. Because Comcast, basically, oh. if you ask Comcast, one they multi stream have to give you a cable card. card. One multi stream card. It will give me quad tuning capability. Really? Yeah. It's but there are if you want to have like a single or two channels, there are cable card boards you drop into a PC now, right? Totally. Okay. But, uh, but you only need one multi-stream card. It can okay. support up to, it really depends on the capabilities of the hardware and the recording, but that one card will be able to deliver four simultaneous streams mm -hmm. if you have the capability of actually recording that or, you know, manipulating that data. It's that flow of data. I can't remember, is it Home Run is the other, they're actually out there and you can actually buy them on like the Seton, they work over, they capture video streams and move them over your network. But I think we're both saying buy a home theater PC, put a cable card in it, use Windows Media. You will have a greater selection of file types to be able mm -hmm. to access off your network. Uh, you will be able to access pretty much any network device on your network, obviously. My only concern with going with TiVo is that you're going to be pretty much locked into whatever they support and whatever the TiVo is capable of decoding. So you might have to, maybe if you're dealing with multiple formats like Matroska and AVIs and H.264 files, you might have to do some transcoding either on the back end on another computer or uh, just have that stuff only download certain types of content that are compatible with your TiVo. So I'm just for the flexibility, and you're going to have to pay a monthly service fee with TiVo anyway unless you can get the unlimited plan. If you've owned one before, you're usually able to get one of those. Uh, can I would you just, transfer yeah. your unlimited plan from an older TiVo to a new TiVo? No, it's lifetime for the device. That so you can sell that device and so forth and so on, but uh, once, once you're locked in, it's locked into the, the unit itself. TiVo or build yourself a home theater I'm PC. I'm more in line. I have not, I would not buy a cable. If I could buy a cable box from a cable provider, heck no, man. Those are some of the worst pieces of garbage hardware I've ever had to deal with. Somebody <laughs> else has it. Half of them don't work right. right. And then the other half that do, it's like, what do you want? You really want to dig into somebody else. And the hard drives are too small. It's just a nightmare. Build your own. Especially when this darn card I keep talking about, that Seton card ships.